news updates. Court adjourns obese petitions against Tinumbu. Do welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. The presidential election petitions. Petition court sitting in Abuja has adjourned the prayer in session involving Peter Obi of the Labour Party. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the President elect, Bola Tinumbu. The adjournment followed counter accusations between the respective councils for Ubi and INEC regarding inability of the Labour Party candidates' lawyers to gain access to election materials needed for the proceedings. Why OB's lawyers accused INEC of failing to avail them with the election materials in line with court orders. The commission's lawyer told the five man panel of the presidential tribunal that OB's team refused to pay the required fees to assess the materials. Recall that the courts at on May 10, after agreement by lawyers to different parties, ordered them to meet and agree on documents relating to the case, as well as file in all their and pardon, as well as file in all their processes and replies before today, May 17. But at the resumed pre hearing on Wednesday. OB and LP's lead counsel, Levi Uzoku San, informed the court that his team, team meeting with INEC on Tuesday did not yield positive results. Quoting Uzoku, Deep regret, we wish to say that up till now, INEC is yet to give us 70% of all the documents the promised to give us. Citing Rivers as an instance, he said the resident electoral commissioner, how easy, told him boldly that they do not have any form EC8A to give his legal team. Uzoku added that his team also met with lawyers representing Tinumbu and the All Progressives Congress, APC, who said they have only some. We had him, counsel for INEC, Abubakar Mahmoud, denied the allegation made in open court by Uzoku. He accused the Labour Party team of not attending the meeting at the agreed time, but rather chose to walk on them. On the electoral materials from River State, the INEC lawyer accused Labour Party of refusing to pay 1.5 million naira fee required to assess them. He added that some documents have been provided to a Labour Party, but they refused to collect them, insisting the document must be complete. Following non-adherence to the earlier order of the court, the five-man panel led by Justice Arino Tesmani fixed Friday for further pre-hearing on the case. Yeah, I, I believe um, the, the, the tribunal court should actually draw a red line, should give a time frame, and also bring IT and Amazon, Beavers, IRF, for forensic analysis on what transpired on the election day on t and also on the 1st of March around 4 a.m. instead of all this drama that is going on in the tribunal. 
most Nigerians at high places want the system to get worse so that they can they will get their own share of national cake. But we need a judge with high level of transparency in government, not the judge or judges who have favorites. A papa or is is an APC mode to bring confusion in Labour Party and also to destabilize them. APC knows that if the case if they allow the case to go on smoothly, they will lose this case. So they are buying anyone who is buyable in order to remain in power. They are only investing in Nigeria routes, which is their target, and once they lay hold of it, the rest is history. But the, the but the problem is that some Nigerians are still seeing it as tribal war between Yoruba and Igbo. But they forget that these thieves they are fighting for don't care about them. The mandates that need to be reclaimed need to be reclaimed in a just way. And they need to be organized, not all this drama, this clash in Labour Party. Tribunal should not take too long on this because we don't want a case whereby after two years in which the president-elect would have been in office then the tribunal will be giving judgments we have come to the end of the news what's your thoughts to this kindly share your view in the comment section thank you